بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. My brothers and sisters, one of the most common controversy, controversies and um, endless, useless, pointless, and harmful debates is about the number of rakat of taraweeh that is to be prayed. We have people who are very strongly for praying only eight rakat and they are ready to pronounce takfir on the people who don't, who pray more, and there are other people who say 20 rakat or nothing. Please understand this. What is haram is to pronounce takfir on your brother. What is haram is to create differences, is to argue, is to uh, look down upon, it is to criticize and curse your own brothers, right? If that is what you want to do, best don't pray anything, just go home. Just pray your first salah and go home. Please don't destroy the Rabbant, don't destroy your Amal by these completely ignorant, stupid arguments. The hadith of Rasulullah is absolutely clear as far as the night prayer is concerned, as far as as far as Qiyamul is concerned, as far as all Nawafid is concerned. The Sahabi asked him, he said, Ya Rasulullah, how must I pray Qiyamul Layl? How must I pray the prayer of the night, which, have, which refers to Tahajjud, which refers to Tarawi, which refers to what we call Qiyamul Layl, which is specifically prayed only in Ramadan. All of them. Nabi Sallallahu said, pray two by two. Right? He didn't. He said pray to many, pray two rakat at a time. He did not specify the number of rakat. He did not say pray two by two, equal into 20, equal into 16, equal into 12, equal to 8, equal to 6. He just said pray two by two. So as long as you're not praying four rakats together, three rakats together, you are fine. How many to pray? Pray as many as you can. The more you pray, obviously the better, because you're getting sawab, you're getting reward for praying there. In the Maliki Fiqh, we pray 36 rakat, not, not only 20. Right? The 20 rakat is more easy, easier on the on the body and so on. 8 is more difficult because you, it, is, it is a longer rakat, but up to you. What is not permitted is unnecessary argument. Pray as much as you can pray. Have a smile on your face. Be good to people. Be friendly and go home. Don't argue. If somebody says... Ah, how much should I pray? You say, pray as much as you want. This is the Hadith of Islam. And if somebody says, you are praying this much, that much, say, sorry, I'm not arguing with you. You pray whatever you want to pray. I will pray whatever I want to pray. You are praying to Allah. I am praying to Allah. You are not praying to me. I'm not praying to you. No argument. Right? Do not argue. Don't fall into this trap. This is from Shaitan. He wants to destroy your Amal. Do not allow him, Shaitan, to destroy your Amal. Pray as much as you can pray and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the opportunity and go home. وصلى الله على نبي الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا رب